So we now come to the main part of town. Now the start of the street, you'll find a humongous Ned Kelly that you can get photos with. It's in front of the information center and uh, the post office. So yeah, you can definitely come down here and enjoy Ned Kelly. Next door to the Ned Kelly statue, they got the Ned Kelly Museum Homestead. So you can check that out with the kids. And it's $2 for kids and $12 for adults. Obviously the prices can change. And also they got a whole heap of different t-shirts, merchandise that you can buy. Check out this little helmet. I thought this was really cute. How cool is this? You can be Ned Kelly yourself. Now besides the amazing shop here, they've got they've got the museum in the back. We've just met the owner, Doug. He's gonna take us through and explain um, what he's got out there. And then we'll walk through and take you through the whole experience to show you. So when you're in town, you can uh, come check it out. That armor, that's a good replica of Ned's. Uh, the gentleman that made it, Marty, um, spent a bit of time down the Savage Channel Library studying. Um, he's, so he's done a fantastic job. It's just to show people the actual size, shape and design. Um, and you can also see he's put all the little things in there as well. Um, of course, when you make something, you, you try it out there. Yeah. yeah. That's him up there trying it out. So then we did often see it for work, but he took him out, so. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So did, did Ned have arm coverage? Like, the, um, the just the shoulders. Yeah. Um, so this is Ned's actual armour that you will find in the State Victorian Library. So if you ever get a chance to get into the old Melbourne jail, make sure you duck around the corner and stick your head in there. So you've got, got his armour, his gun and his one of his boots with the jewellery ladder going all the way around. So you see the arrows just follow them all the way around this building here. Um, now, a lot of the stuff in here is Kelly related. The farmers that were involved and also the, the police. So this is our police cabinet here. So there are all the old photos, the old rosters. Uh, Stan Hope O'Connor's sabre, he saw, which is pictured right there. Um, the Royal Commission, and one of the old guns that we dug up back in 1975 over at the siege site. So oh, wow. it's one of those museums, the more you look, the more you will yeah. find. This is Nick Kelly's original house, or their family's house. And they've got a replica here, the museum at the back, which we're gonna go through shortly. Doug and Michelle have only recently taken over the museum. They have plans in the near future to make the museum even bigger than what it already is. Stage one of Ned Kelly street art is already in the works. This piece of art will run along the side of their building. So Adam might see something we saw only a few episodes ago on our channel. This here is Ned Kelly's dad's grave and we went and saw that what town was that in that was in it's on the way Avenal. Mm -hmm. yeah so if you want to check out that episode we show you where that is doug the owner was saying to us make sure you take the time to read the stories on the wall the more you look the more you find there is so many different stories from all different point of views and so much history here they even have the original basket a local couple would hide food in underneath their baby to get past police officers to get food to the Kelly gang. How awesome is that? Stepping through the back door, you will be greeted by Kate's Cottage and so what much more. There, Adam? We've also got some movie props here um, just to showcase what was what was used back in back in their days. Yeah. This is a torture. Well, a torture rack. Yeah, it definitely looks like a torture rack. And then you've got in the barb area. Yeah. You've got the, the beds as well, um, which was, that's a prop. Actually, these are from a movie. This is in the hanging of Ned Kelly. Uh, and his last words were, ah, well, I suppose it has come to this, which is interpreted as such is life. This is a replica of, of the Kelly homestead that's authentically been built, so that's all by hand. All the traditional methods like the blacksmiths and the stone, stone, stone masons, for example. Uh, that's all traditional um, handmade work. 
Wow. As you step through the door of the family home, you're instantly taken back in time. One thing that stood out to me was the way the walls were lined with newspaper, just like we use plasterboard these days. Now there is a cat that lives on the property and uh, that's the cat right there. Twilight is not going to be too happy about that. So they do have the blacksmiths here, a real work, working blacksmiths, uh, which you can come down on some school holidays, they have it going and through winter because it does get hot. So just ring ahead to find out or look online to when it is operational. Hello, puppy. <laughs> oh, saying hello to you, Twilight. Huh? <laughs> saying hello to you. Yes. <laughs> hello. Sort <laughs> 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 of dance. It's playing up to the Bye. 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 So these cockies have been living on the site for over 40 years now and they're going to be living a lot longer than that because these guys live for a long time. They say hello, they dance for you, they say even say goodbye. So anyway, to us to them, goodbye. <laughs> Since the last time we were in Glenrowan at the Ned Kelly Museum, they have gone and added the most spectacular piece of wall art on the side of their museum. It is absolutely amazing. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. It shows the last stand. Just another reason to go visit Glenrowan. We hope you've liked this midweek episode. Remember to like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. And we'll see you this Sunday at 5 p.m. See you guys.